What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from the Entertainment News. Hey, uh, hey, it's me, Auntie Buffy. Forgive me. I, 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 I'm in a very low vibrational state right now, and I'm gonna get myself centered and go hug a tree and get myself all the way together this afternoon. But we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of the negative space that I'm currently in and be a little messy for social media today. Y'all okay with that? So I want to ask y'all a question and I want y'all to hit me in the comments with y'all responses. So I've seen in the media and heard from some acquaintances that people are bringing up the, if you marry a man older than you and he makes more money than you, then you are a gold digger, right? Well, my thing is, don't that apply to men too? So if you are a doctor or a dentist or a reality TV star and you are married to a man that makes a fraction of what you make, is your man a gold digger? <laughs> I'm just I'm just asking for a new acquaintance. My name's Sweet Tea. If you remember Buffy, right? From Married to Medicine, you all know that situation she had with Dr. Jackie, where Dr. Jackie, you know, stood on stage and mentioned her not being able to have kids possibly and it was a big story and a, yeah it was a hot mess during that time if you go to the marriage and medicine playlist you can catch up on all of that but this is like seasons ago buffy simply said that look i'm not going to stand by and watch you all bully this woman she said something and she was joking but of course editing and yes, yeah, so I've talked about this and all of that, but shout out to Buffy for, you know, coming through and let's get into the mid-season trailer. When Phaedra was dressed like this on my screen, I'm like, oh goodness, here we go. Now she's a holistic doctor. She's doing everything to stay on this show. She's not married or engaged to medicine. So now let's try something else. I mean, the desperation. Anyways, moving on from Phaedra. Dr. Simone planning a trip at the hotel, I guess, where the alleged, you know, affair and all of that happened with Dr. Jackie, husband, Curtis, hot mess. You know, she said that that didn't even cross her mind because that was years ago. But you already know, even though Heavenly and Simone and Dr. Jackie, they're all in a good place. Heavenly will always be jealous because Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone friendship is way deeper. They've been friends longer. You know, you came in here, attempted to snatch this woman friend away. They were able to find their way back to each other. Just enjoy the friend group. You're supposed to know almost like trying to behave like Simone intentionally did that. Well, Curtis they didn't want to hear it about people bringing up the past and all of that. He's like, he had this look on his face like and this is the reason why i'm barely around this is the reason why i disappear this is the reason why i let you all speculate do whatever because i don't want to be a part of this hot mess i don't need to be questioned as long as my wife is happy and we've moved forward that's all that matters now when are y'all gonna learn that these people just want Letitia to get dragged? It's the mid-season. I have yet to see where Letitia serving this country was mentioned. The other job working for the government was mentioned, but quickly. So painting her as a career woman who also served this country doesn't fit their gold digger narrative. The narrative that they're painting is this young woman looking for a sugar daddy a gold digger ghetto loud always want to fight somebody now she's screaming bleep you at dr jackie when she's probably not even talking to dr jackie but once again let's make the trailer look that way and watch people drag her and call her every name just for the episode to air and she's probably not even talking to dr jackie that way or there's more to it and it's being placed out of context the same way how she was dragged people assumed that she was crying screaming about to fight over quad being at her bachelorette party when she was actually going at it with her sister and people were calling her insecure and all of these different things when she was just upset because what happened last minute before her wedding so before i even give my critique on that I'm going to wait for the episode to air and see it because I already know just because her face was and is in that direction and then you put Jackie's face on the screen, it doesn't mean that it even had anything to do with Dr. Jackie. It could have been for Dr. Heavenly or anyone else. So we shall see. And if it was towards Dr. Jackie, 
I'm sure once more context is added, we shall see. But I'm not jumping to a conclusion all because of a trailer. Because been there, done that. Everyone that's filmed and production was lying. But once again, Letitia is getting dragged for something that she probably didn't even do. But that's the narrative they're holding on to and running with. And you know what? It is what it is. It's disgusting. But as they say, you signed up for the show or you knew what you were signing up for. Hot mess. Speaking of Letitia, Quad comes in, she says hello. Okay, Dr. G was very polite, calm, put together. He responded with a simple hello. The end. Yeah, go social media. Dr. G, oh, look at how he's looking at Quad and checking her out. Like, what did you want him to not look in her direction and say hello? Had he not say hello back, had he not acknowledge her, then it was going to be, he's rude, he's bitter, all of these different things. The man is with his wife and he said, hello, he mentioned her name and life goes on. Now let the episode come out and let's see if anything extra happened. But based on the trailer, what exactly do you want from these people? Okay, Quad comes in and crashed this woman bachelorette party. She's polite to Quad. I'm not going to give you all what you want and looking for. I'm going to pay this whole situation desk. I'm going to say hi. I'm going to be polite. I'm going to be nice, okay? Then Heavenly goes on Twitter. She's, oh, she's a groupie. Oh, she fanned out. No, ma'am, she didn't fan nothing out. She just didn't give you the reaction you were looking for. You got upset. So now let me come up with something else to make myself feel better. It's the same thing going on here with Dr. G. Had that man not respond and say hi to Quad, it would have been his bitter. He says hi now. Oh, he's looking at her up and down. Oh, he's checking her out. My goodness, it's a hot mess. Anyways, let's move on from that. Oh, you know what? Since we're on Dr. G topic, let's stay on it. Okay, I'm wishing these two the best when it comes to them having children. You saw the scene where they did talk about, you know, him going and getting his perm checked up to make sure he's also doing good. In that department, of course, Heavenly being disrespectful, said what she said is on the screen in the writing. And of course, you know, the other doctor had to check her and she was like, you know, the baby is here. Watch your mouth. You're not going to do that in front of the baby. Anyways, Heavenly, just a hot mess. Speaking of Dr. Heavenly, there's a scene where she's being pulled back and she's throwing insults. And then they show Dr. Simone being pulled back and insults are being thrown, okay? So right there, people have made a connection that the both of them are going at each other. If they are going at each other, like I said, Heavenly just won't accept that Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone been friends longer than the both of them. And once again, she would do any and everything in her power to keep Dr. Jackie to herself. It is weird, it's scary, it's obsessive, and it's disgusting. However, heavenly reckless mouth, you never know. It could be Letitia, Phaedra, anybody. But the way how it's set up, you can tell that it is between her and Dr. Simone. But we shall see. And of course, Quad did not post the trailer of her saying she's back. Right now, our supporters are upset with Bravo, and most of them probably did not watch the Heavenly and Kyle's Kink YouTube video saying that Quad did come back for one or two episodes. So Quad posting a mid-season trailer saying she's back is going to mess up the narrative that she's setting up right now, that the ladies kicked her out and it's over with and all of that. And apparently the episode of them doing that airs tonight. So why am I going to post a mid-season trailer saying I'm back when tonight's supposed to be the night that the girls are going to be kicking me out? I'm going to give my fans and supporters time to drag them for a few days and make it look like they actually kicked me out. It doesn't make any sense posting a mid-season trailer. Even though most of her fans are aware that, you know, she's coming back, even if it's for one episode, they did see the trailer that she's back because the Married to Medicine pages posted it. And most of the ladies posted the trailer. And it's also on Twitter and everywhere else. So I'm sure they saw it and they know. I'm glad to finally see them allowing Dr. Alicia and her husband clips to play okay people been filming but 
they've been on mute as if she's just there and getting this free check. Apparently and allegedly, she was coming in to replace Quad and then Quad came back last. Meaning, and that's the reason why, but at least we're hearing them now saying a word or two because that's just messed up. Like, you know how many hours these people spend filming and they do have real regular jobs and you're not going to show my scenes of course yeah they got their check but still if i'm here for publicity and you're not even showing me and you took all of those hours away from me why am i even here and why did you do that so i'm glad that they are at least getting to speak and not just a flash of them here and there on the screen anyways i'll be back with more after tonight's episode because you know they do instagram live every sunday so i'll be back probably with a part one or part two and more to say about the mid-season thriller but i do want to get this video up tonight before the new episode so i'm going to go ahead and end it here i'm wishing all of you well and take care thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless